September 14th, and I'm uh, just gonna do another quick update because there are tons of peppers that I have to pick, but I figured I'd uh, capture some of them on video here before I do that, and it's a nice enough day, so quick video update. There's a lot of the peppers on the side uh, garden in the, the mulch here. I did a update just a couple days ago on some of the other ones uh, down in the, the garden that I moved from the deck. So we'll kind of just go through these quick so you can see them because a lot of them are maturing and got some good color on them. So there's one of those nice brown amnesias. Uh, Nagla red here, none of those have turned color in this specific one yet. Uh, I got a skunk red there just starting to turn colors. Here's that black pearl pepper uh, with those really neat uh, dark red berries that turn almost a dark purple black color when they mature. Orange habanero, a few more of those maturing now. Uh, and it looks like this one's gonna be a, a real nice producer because there's lots of green peppers in there right now. So it looks like they're all starting to turn. And then right behind it is a chocolate habanero. And it looks like there is the first one to change there into that nice deep dark brown, which I hadn't noticed before, but you can see uh, there's another one starting to turn there and there's plenty more green ones in the back and then growing up on this one too this one's shot right up it's probably close to four feet tall at this point with some more flowers on the top so um, this is the first year growing those but just another shot of that nice deep dark brown here's a regular ghost this one's got tons of fruit on it uh, all changing colors for the most part so i gotta get those off there but tons of peppers there the ghost peppers have always been a, a good producer and down here this is supposed to be a scorpion but it doesn't look like that way at all they're uh, a white variety is something kind of smooth maybe two inches long an inch wide I'm still trying to figure out what exactly those are here's a, another white variety this is a, a Borg 9 and you can see there that some have turned that nice white color or off-white color. So those certainly need to be picked. Uh, next one is the Jigsaw. Uh, those were really good producers for me last year. This plant particularly struggled this year for whatever reason. I don't know if there was some disease on it or something, but uh, it's kind of got a late start, but it does finally have a lot of flowers and uh, some nice peppers in there too. Those are nice and spicy. Next up is the uh, cayenne pepper. Got a couple plants in this uh, blue pot here. But you can see those up there ready to be picked. Here's another amnesia pepper with several almost ready to be picked. So I'll have to uh, get those in the next couple days. Brazilian starfish in the background, and this one's just loaded up too. Much like the one in the garden that I gave the update on, this one's just growing all over the place. It's not as bushy or as dense with peppers, but it's uh, falling all over itself. So I either gotta trim that back or at least pick some of the right peppers on there. Here's another one of the cayenne peppers, nice long bright red peppers. Thai dragon, the ones that grow up in uh, bunches vertically. Also nice bright red smooth peppers. Mad Hatter there uh, with red, green, and kind of a off yellow and orangish pepper in the background. And we've got the, the Gorpion pepper, mix of the ghost and the scorpion. And this plant's just really looking cool now that more of the uh, peppers have changed colors so I'll pick some of those but those should be super spicy there's the first color changes for this uh, this death spiral pepper kind of like a off burnt orange I think those are pretty spicy as well and here's a uh, big black mama haven't tried those yet, but those are supposed to be spicy as well. They're kind of like a lighter brown at this point. 
Next one up is uh, Pink Tiger. These have not shaded like some of the other ones I have, so not sure if that's 100% accurate or not yet. There's, you can see a tinge of a little purple on that one, but most of them are all that off-white color now, and there are plenty under there. Next one is the Chocolate Lava, and you can see there's one certainly ready to be picked, just that nice deep dark brown color with a good number of flowers and green peppers up on top there and down here we've got another chocolate lava this one didn't grow all that tall but certainly has plenty of uh, fruit that it has produced you can see kind of hiding in amongst the leaves there there's probably at least uh, 20 on this plant here a few of them ready to be picked and I think finally in this row we've got a cappuccino lava so kind of a lighter brown some of the pictures showed some streaky brown color but for the most part just a lighter brown compared to that darker brown that the chocolate lavas have so gotta get all these picked and start throwing them into uh, hot sauces but I've also got to update my numbers I think I have uh, 700 or more peppers picked for the season and I'm thinking there's going to be close to 2,500 by the end of the season which here is uh, mid-November so another two months to go so hopefully we hit that number or even more so that's it for the update and we'll see you at the end of the week or at the weekend for our fertilizer Friday update.